we are no longer a member of the European Union. The scenes there in Parliament Square, where the celebrations begin. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the video. We are out of the EU, and it was a great night last night. I didn't get much footage because I was too busy enjoying the night and it was packed. All Brexiteers that I see look like they were having a great night. The same can't be said for the BBC and other mainstream media broadcasters who could not hide their disgust for Brexit when reporting on the celebrations in Parliament Square. That was like I said, very good natured with no significant drama going on anywhere that I'm aware of. Not sure what happened to the pillock who appeared on talk radio recently saying Ramonas would outnumber Brexiteers at the event. I guess they didn't need to turn up since the media was against Brexit yet again, meaning they could spend the cold Friday evening tucked up in their safe spaces with a soy latte. Obviously being at the celebration I missed all the coverage by the media last night, but I have gone through a lot of it today and just wow. The media are going to be the longest living Ramonas in the country it would seem. Because even now, they have lost the battle and the war is won, they just can't accept defeat. The same seems to be true for some on Twitter, because this morning, trending number one on the Ramonin ship pit, we had the hashtag thick at number one, and it is still in the top ten as I record this video. Because of course, some losers still can't take it, and instead, go back to calling everyone that voted a different way to them thick, which helped them so much at the last election I'm sure you will all remember. But I told you guys last year there won't be a Labour government for many years to come because they will never learn the lessons needed to get in power. But it does go to show how weak these Ramonin spunk trumpets really are that they could not even muster enough people to turn up at Parliament Square and take over the Brexit celebration like they claimed they would. Instead, they stuck to crying on Twitter with, like I said, the media joining in with their own anti-Brexit coverage. Take the BBC for instance, the septic spots on the arse of humanity that covered up Jimmy Savile's heinous crimes for decades and acted against the will of the people for nearly the last four years regarding Brexit, along with many other things we don't have time to go into here. But to actually have the audacity to act like that is incredible and shows what bitter snivelling shit weasels they are. Not only because of the general Brexit coverage, but refusing to play the Prime Minister's message to the public as it was not recorded by them, but recorded by the Prime Minister and his team themselves. Which it would seem the sort of that decision was also evident throughout the Brexit night coverage, but easily the best showing of why the Brexit bashing corporation should be axed came from the BBC host's reaction after hearing the national anthem that was played seconds after we left the EU. The salt is real here, guys, so first let's take a look at the BBC clip. A very good evening. Brexit has happened. Just 15 minutes ago, the UK ceased to be a member of the European Union. Let's just hear that big moment in British history again when the clock counted down to 11 o'clock, sparking celebrations in London's Parliament Square. Yeah. 
Prime Minister Boris Johnson released a statement earlier insisting that leaving the bloc was the right and democratic thing to do because the EU had evolved in a direction which no longer suited the UK. Mr Johnson says that Britain's departure is potentially a moment of real national renewal and change, but he acknowledges that many people feel a sense of anxiety and loss. He says in the statement, tonight we are leaving the European Union. This is not an end, but a beginning. I know that we will succeed. We have obeyed the people. We have taken back the tools of self-government. We have taken back the tools and now is the time to use those tools to unleash the full potential of this brilliant country. Now, the singing might not be Freddie Mercury, but for the host to cringe like that at the national anthem is an utter disgrace. And this spunk trumpet should not be getting paid taxpayers' money to disrespect our national anthem or the people of this country on the day we leave the EU because she doesn't like the fact that her side lost in 2016. And even after years of abuse and degradation, we still fucking won. The face she pulled is disgusting, considering our national anthem was being sung by patriotic Brits who already despise the BBC and all that it's become with its left-wing lunacy and pathetic attempts to brainwash the country based on whatever its lunatic editors and presenters' ideologies happened to be at the time. The other media broadcasters were no better if I'm honest. The salt flowing off them was fucking biblical. I'm telling you now, we will be mining that one day in history for a while to come yet. Who knows how many clips or statements will surface in the time to come. Take Twitter this morning, for instance, that had thick trending number one due to rejoiners, as they are now called, since Ramona's technically died last night after four years on life support. That, as you will all know, was provided by the pawn scum in Parliament and the media. Boris will claim he got Brexit done, but in reality, the people got Brexit done and defeated the Ramonin tosspots who thought they could wipe their ass with democracy. Boris would be no more than a fart in the wind right now, like Maybot, the Labour Party or Lib Dems find themselves in as we speak, if it wasn't for us. Boris and the Conservative Party need to remember that. But the salty Twitter mobs jumped on the little hashtag to let their Ramona tears flow. So, we will look at some of them quickly before I end this video. Because we never turned down an opportunity to salt mine on this channel. And so here we have the actual hashtag itself, starting off with the people's Chris Rose. Now they call Leave Voters hashtag thick. In the near future, they'll beg these same Leave Voters to vote Labour. Spot on, mate. And I'm sure you guys will all agree that that is exactly what happens. Pierce Morgan. So, thick is trending, driven by Ramonas, who think they're so much smarter than the 17.4 million people who voted for Brexit. If you're all so fucking smart, how did you get beaten by a bunch of thickos? <laughs> I see hashtag thick is trending. Of course, this will be from all those bitter Ramonas who are so smart they managed to lose a referendum, get stuffed in a general election, and generally believed a vote to leave would result in immediate recession and huge job losses. Yeah, we're still waiting for that to happen because actually employment has gone up. Steve Topple, blue check marks. So we got two blue check marks here that look like they're actually supporting common sense and democracy. A browser of hashtag thick shows the self righteous, privileged without realising it, sanctimonious, top down, self important, condescending, 21st century eugenist nature of the liberal left. See how you get on calling certain people thick away from the protection of Twitter. Yeah, well, they wouldn't get on very well. They would all be off running with their tails between their legs if they ever had the ball sack to actually say it. Keep calling people who vote differently to you thick and racist. You just see how that continues to backfire like fuck on you. Well said, Lisa. That is something they will never learn. Lost a referendum when you had the whole government, establishment and media banging the drum for you. Lost every election since. Lost every Remain MP who played your game. Turned an orderly Brexit into a chaotic, spiteful mess. Want to find hashtag thick? Look in the mirror, daft sod. Well, yep, spot on. Thick is apparently trending. Ramonas are clearly unbending in their attitude to slate, abuse, denigrate. 
Could they get any more condescending? Of course they could. Well, yeah, they could, and they probably will. I think, guys, this is just going to be the start. Haha, <laughs> some belters on here, hashtag thick. Little meme there about Boris calling us all stupid gullible fools. Yep, yeah, you're the one that have been listening to the SMP, you idiot, who says independence is inevitable. I really don't think it is. We'll see you in a generation or two. I might be thick, but I seem to keep voting in the winner at elections and referendums. Five in a row, hashtag Independence Day. <laughs> Amended it for you, Jessica. 100% this. When will BBC reporters start challenging Ramonas on their opinions after they attempted to fuck with democracy? Well, Dave, the EU is Europe. We all know that. Back to the studio has been the standard train of thought throughout. Hashtag thick. Force Nimda here. Every Brexit voter being interviewed by the media this morning. We don't know what lies ahead. Have to wait and see if we made the right or wrong decision. I thought they all knew what they were voting for. Hashtag thick. Yeah, because everybody can predict the future, like you Ramonas did in 2016, when you said the world would end if we voted to leave. Everyone's favourite Ramona, Femi. The word thick only applies to anyone who today says, see, it was all Project Fear. Planes are still flying, there are no job losses or supply shortages. It means, despite watching years of news explanations, they still don't know there's a difference between deal and no deal. Yes, but all of this stuff was said before the referendum, Femi, not just afterwards by you lunatics about no deal. It was said, in general, about Brexit from day dot. Here's a little salty one from Dan Blears. Generally love the fact hashtag thick is trending due to Brexit supporters having zero understanding of what's actually happening. Here's a visual representation. It shows you have no idea what's actually happening on the Ramona Twitter here. Because the reason that is trending is because the Ramonas are a little bit salty this morning and didn't get to cry enough tears last night because the Brexiteers scared them off from Parliament. So they had to resort to their keyboard warrior tactics on Twitter, thinking the world actually cares when people like me are just here to troll. And we got Adam Brooks here. Hashtag thick is thinking we are leaving Europe. Hashtag thick is not knowing only half of European countries are actually in the EU. Hashtag thick is believing the hysteria of empty shelves and immediate recessions. Hashtag thick is being unable to see how democracy works and to accept it. Hashtag thick is not Brexit. Spot on, mate. And he's got another one straight underneath it. So, hashtag thick is trending, aimed at us leave voters from Remain tweeters. Did you not learn, you are the minority. That is correct, same as their opinions on Twitter. While they might get themselves a lot of retweets and a lot of likes, they're still not even 1% of the country. And Sheridan. Mmm, and intelligent people keep losing elections to thick people. Weird that. Hashtag thick is trending. Stupid people blame others for their own mistakes. Stupid people always have to be right. Stupid people react to conflicts with anger and aggression. Stupid people ignore the needs and feelings of others. Stupid people think they are better than everyone. Hashtag Brexit. shit. Well, I'm pretty sure most of those there talk about the left-wing Remainer types. Talking about conflicts with anger and aggression. That's literally you Remainers coming on Twitter, calling everyone thick. When you're all just a bunch of losers. And here we have everyone's favourite Ramonin shit weasel and current shit weasel of the week, Terry Christian. The brains behind Brexit. Four years on and hashtag thick cretins still think the European Court of Human Rights is part of the EU. The rest is repeating the meaningless drivel the con men sold them. No, I've been for all of this and what the BBC have been doing is finding the most uninformed people who are at the celebration or the ones who look like they're the most half cut and getting them to talk on the camera when they're not prepared for it, and many of them are only there to celebrate that and have not been thinking about any of this. Because I'll tell you something, there was a fair few known YouTubers at the celebrations yesterday that they could have easily went and spoke to if they really wanted to find named people who might know about the subject matter. And I think we're just going to leave it there, guys. You get the drift. They're still a little bit salty, and I don't think it's going to end soon. As we progress through different stages of the transition period, expect more of this nonsense and more salt mining videos. 
But between these Ramonas and the BBC, the Lib Dems Labour and any other Ramonin party is never winning any great number of seats and election, that is for sure. Calling most of the electorate thick is never going to help your cause. As some of you will know, I have started doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. If you are interested in joining me for a chat in real time during one of my live streams, have an interest in gaming related content on YouTube, or simply want to follow me over there because you are a legend, the link to subscribe will be down in the video description and as a pinned comment. I hope to see you all there. Now as always, I want to thank our YouTube, PayPal, Patreon and Subscribestar members for supporting the channel, along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below, leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot, and I'll see you all in the next one. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. Ramon! Ramon!